In my last video I made a Japanese style hand plane and that was the first plane that I've ever made and because it went so well in this video I've decided to make another plane and this time it's going to be a small block plane something like this. This one here I've just thrown together just to try and find the shape I like and the, and the form and that's why I made it out of pine so it was easy to shape so this is obviously useless um, but uh, I'm going to try and replicate this one and make it out of rosewood I think and I'm going to make the blade out of this old mower blade. I couldn't get enough heat into the blade to anneal it properly so at that point I stopped and I made this very simple forge better known as Fergus the Forge Pig and if you want to see how I did it then click on the link above. The mower blade is hardened steel but by putting it in the forge and heating it up to cherry red and then letting it cool down to uh, air temperature that has uh, now annealed it and that should be soft enough to work uh, to file so I'm going to try that. I'm cleaning the blade up but mainly to flatten the back and I've got 120 grit sandpaper on this piece of stone to keep it flat. The back's flattened, I've put a bevel on the edge, it's not sharp yet and I've cleaned up the other side but I haven't gone too far with that and now it's ready to harden. You can hear the file skipping across, it's brightened the edge up but it's not cutting into it so that's now ready to temper. I left the blade in the oven to temper for an hour and the reason we do that is to put a little bit of strength back into the blade. If we didn't do that uh, the blade in a hardened state would be too brittle and it would chip. So we slightly soften it and that adds a little bit of strength to it but uh, not enough that we lose the, uh, the hardness to keep a nice sharp edge. So hopefully I've got it right and it'll work. I'm no expert at this, so I've probably done it now about six, seven, eight times, something like that, and it's worked every time for me. So if you follow these basic steps, then it should work for you too. So after that, I sharpened it and uh, I did that to a thousand grit, which is all I ever do, then polished it with a straw. So that's the, uh, the plane I am finished. So now I'm going to move on to the body.
the gap between the two blocks the mouth should be about two to three mil and at the moment the blade doesn't quite go through there but the next job is to flatten the sole and that will widen the mouth a little bit and the blade should fit through the blade is almost through but keep sanding the sole until it does come through and until you get a mouth opening as wide as what you need Taking the offcut that came out of the throat, I'm going to use that to make a wedge. I'm marking out the shape and there's no real right or wrong way of doing this. It's just whatever shape you think will work for you or what you're comfortable with. I'm going to cut this out on the bandsaw and I've purposely left quite a bit of uh, room to play with so these lines aren't the exact shape I want I will be coming in a little bit more once I start shaping it we need to put a bar through the body and that's for the wedge to wedge against then hold the blade in place so to mark that out I'll, I've got the blade in position, I'll mark the front edge of the blade across and I've got this set at my 50 degree, the bed angle so that represents the front of the blade and then if I get my wedge and I'll put it in the position that it, it will be in but then I need to back it up slightly so it's got room for it to compress so if I hold that in place there, it needs to be somewhere along that line there. We need to go deep enough if we put it too close to this edge here, it will just break off. Plus I probably want to shape that a little bit more yet. And also the bar is 4mm thick, so the centre of the hole will be a couple of mil across. I'm going to do it by eye, so I'm going to put it around there. If I do get this wrong, it won't be the end of the world. I can just make a new wedge that will fit to uh, the shape. But that should be about right there. I'm going to put it together now, and if it all works like it should, then I can start shaping it, the thumb part. And I need a plain hammer, I don't have one, and that's going to be my next video. That really is cutting nice. It's not much of a test, it's just pine and it's only 10 mil wide, but it's cutting really nice, so it looks promising. So now I'm going to start shaping it. That's working fantastic, I'm really happy with it. The only thing I have left to do is I need to reduce the length of the blade. I left extra on there, I wasn't sure quite how long to make it, so I'm going to cut a bit off and that will make it more comfortable to hold. So it's working very nice, the plain iron is much more comfortable to hold and I did remake the wedge, I was adjusting it and I made it too thin so I ruined it so I've just made a, uh, another wedge and uh, this is uh, camphor laurel so it's not a particularly dense hardwood but it's a medium density hardwood so it, it is much harder than pine and it's given nice clean shavings there and they look like bacon too.
Just a simple block plane, but I reckon it's going to get a lot of use. It was really easy to make, and you could always buy a blade if you're not interested in that part of the project. But the plane itself was very easy and quick to build. So hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.